just, I don't know, nobody else is as zenny as him. But one player who is quite zenny is Naipo. He is, I think, often compared to Zen uh, because of his playstyle is highly mechanical. That's a great touch by Zen to threaten the counter attack already. Now, Puss spotted the play coming a mile away, though. That's a very successful challenge. Just half flip right back into position. Wants a double reset there. Actually flipped away from the ball. That's a rare thing to see. Zen losing control of an aerial play. Um, the first time they played. Most recent time they played. Daniel actually beat him though. Worth mentioning. Now plus recent ones record running into Salt Mine 3 wasn't actually the best. He was on a bit of a losing streak of five series in a row. And now he's on a win streak. Oh my days. He's been outplayed by that play. What was this from Zen? That's one reset. There's another one. And he just slots it. Zen, sorry. Gets going in the other direction. Nopa with a reset. Top shell, and it's in. And it's turned into a freestyle 1v1. This could happen in this matchup. And I don't think anybody's going to have a problem with it. Nopo. Zen, staying safe in the back corner away from a demo. Now getting started with the counter. He's still got a dodge here, but he doesn't get the shots on target. And again, Nopo's going to pick up a freebie. That's the third easy goal. Big part of this Salt Mine 3 group stage format. Who can play consistently? Well, Zen's re responded quite well to that previous misplay. Gets another flip reset on target. Perfect control. And the test to it is very difficult. <laughs> I always encourage you, you guys who tune into my stream to give it a go. Find a server somewhere that gives you 100 ping. Pretty easy counter attack goals in one game. Zen would maybe dial it back in offense a little bit. And that is not what he does. People realize when they watch Zen play, it's not about the average speed of the guy. You know, he's not the fastest player on average at the end of a series, but when he wants to go... Zen looking for the inverted half flip kickoff, the turtle kickoff. Um, didn't get it right, though. Uh, maybe not bronze. The bronze players flip? No. When do players start flipping here, dribble over. Hits the bar, but he doesn't need more goals right now. Zen just letting the clock work. <laughs> EU silver and NA gold. Stop it. Hypo catches. Flicks to the near post. Zen is there. Boost is running a bit low, though. Naipo catches him. Almost out of position. It's a shot for Naipo. Top shelf. On the play. He's got the mid boost. He's got the ball off the wall in a difficult position. And he scores. For Zen, it's a simple ceiling shot. But it's the 10th goal of the game. Two off. With Flair. Nipo actually switching things up here. He's in the octane. Now, if you watch the qualifier, you'll remember that he played a bunch of octane and it worked out very well. No, so trust me. Add another E. You need to expect speed, more speed. So, boost. that's a winning kickoff for the Frenchman. Air dribble from distance, beautiful vision on the approach. Oh my goodness. An undefendable flip reset as well. He saw Naipo back off, so he knew he had all the time in the world. And with that time, he played it to perfection. Allow Zen to apply that same squeeze that he had in the last game. Direct air dribble, saw a bunch of those from Vatira just Mixing things up, keeping his opponent guessing. This is Pogo shot from Zen. Oh, what a shot that is! Placement with the Pogo shot. He's done it again. <laughs> back as he could be there. He was ready for a shot, but it was still too good from Zen, who has been such a difficult player to control all day today. You'll know that this is far from over. Nipo's got the explosivity. He's got the comeback potential. And oh dear, that's a misplay from Zen. That's going to be a goal for Nipo. He won't waste any time. He's, he's sticking with the ball here. Even though it's in his half, that's a kickoff win. Ceiling shot from Zen with a mind game. Couple of twists thrown in to completely full Nipo. He just did not see that one coming. He had, he had some problems at the end of game one with this kickoff. And he's found the solution, it would seem. Oh, what a shot. Wow, Naipo responds 
with a ferocious shot to the top corner. Zen giving him a compliment for that one. Wave dash control of the following possession in the back corner. Has to use a lot of boosts to get this one into a threatening position. He wants the demo. In fact, he's Naupo's POV. Zen threw his joystick up to see what Naupo is doing. Maybe expecting Naupo to be delaying the kickoff as well. But yes, that's mid kickoff. After he's flipped, he's looking over the ball. Ridiculous awareness by Troll. Yes, he can. That looks pretty good to me. But Zen denies it, recovers. And he's trying to stick to the ball here. He's just about kept control of the situation. Now for reversing all the way down the other side of the pitch. But Zen walks in. <laughs> now didn't think Zen had control. He was expecting Zen to keep flipping into the ball. But Zen just can't. Since then, he has swept his next opponent. And he's 2-0 up on one of the other favorites in the group. The, uh, the subpar but an HD match uh, that started late. So yeah, we're, we're, we might be throwing all of you guys over to Subpar but an HD again. It's a North American group stage action for Salt Mine 3. Immediately after EU finishes, we're not gonna put the stream offline or anything. We're just gonna keep streaming and cover NA as well. Oh my goodness, Zen has just hit the most ridiculous shot of the day. <laughs> my word, how has he done that with such a little boost? Pure perfection with a rebound redirect off his own back wall. Now put thought the boost seal is up. I should have said type 6 in chat, shouldn't I? Anyway, we've gone for one. It's fine. Big dunk from Zen. That's going to leave now put no chance. To... Fair enough. Yeah, if your PC sounds like an airplane is about to take off, probably stick with one match. I would leave six for another day. Now put caught out of position again. A different level. He's been on his own level, as he often has been since he exploded onto the scene at the end of this year. About halfway through this year, I should say. A player who took a game off Zen earlier today. So for this to be a 3-0 is a big surprise based on how the games have been going today for both of these guys. Uh, mainly now for success that he's had earlier on. It's just been completely nullified. Oh, he's really still pushing the, uh, the limit. He's taking it to unknown levels with aerial offense. Oh, Naupo catches him. That's a really good shot by Naupo. Zen did not think Naupo was going to be in position for this one. In all of those games, in all these games. But he just hasn't been able to get the job done. Now he's starting to do it a little bit more successfully. This great pop with the flip reset in midfield. To a boost deal for Naupo though. Zen making a path around the box to grab the small pads. And then three jumps to cover the top corner before break check in Naupo's attempt to demo. Naupo actually got the boost on spawn there. That's perfect timing. Now wants to double tap. Zen getting tricky with it. Chain dash into position. And now here he comes with another high flying play. It's an air dribble that Naupo saves very successfully. That's a massive save by Naupo. Stayed outside of his net while doing it. Now, long time viewers of the stream will know about this, but when you get those diving saves across the goal, it's so important that you land on the back wall, not inside your net. Gives you possession. He doesn't really have any left over to play with. After he got the ball. Aerial shot by Naupo. Well saved by Zen. We could, we could have a three-way tie here, so the games really matter. Naupo needs games badly, and he looks like he's about to get one here. And he absolutely will. Doesn't, not that he looks tilted or anything, but, you know, just get a fresh feel going into the next game. With another worldie. Why not? Just add another one to the list. I feel like Naupo didn't even, he didn't even want to try and defend this. He's like, you know what? I'm going to let you have that one because if I jump, you're still going to score. It's a 2-1. No sweeps on stream today. Naupo starts to come back a little bit more. Yeah, I forgot to mention as well, Vatira is also perfect in Group A. Vatira and Rawas both 3-0 in Group A. Big difference there. There could be a decider in the final round tomorrow. Players playing for their tournament life in the next stage. Not the event myself, but luckily community streamers have been helping out with that. They've been covering the action. Oh wow, how's that not gone in? Ted, when they've got momentum, makes it very difficult for them to get it. So you've got to stop before you can jump up. And when you stop, of course, you lose all your momentum, something you don't want to do in Rocket League. In terms of what it does for Group B, it's actually not crazy as a result. Um, in and of itself, they're both very close, in fact, in most people's rankings, including my own. 
since I know a lot of people are going to say it, I should probably mention as well, before we get too deep into this game. Uh, yeah, you're you're gonna run into spoilers in a tournament like this. I you know I definitely call that one of the plays that Naipo on on his screen with 108 ping. Yeah, he probably got to the boost first, but you know he knows that he's not gonna have the completely sweeping. And that is Naipo. He's starting to elevate. Zen messes up his flick, but he's still got a really big advantage shot here. Goes for it. Bit of an awkward. Hits on the ball, but oh, Zen's let his guard down. Naupo catches him, and now Zen spawns far post. Is he going to get there? No, he's not. He is forcing Zen to do his bidding right now. Zen has to find an opening. He's really trying to force the issue here, and it's not like he's got any other option. Zen has to do something, but he's been deviled on the back wall. Throughout the day, so I feel like it's just... Whatever he feels like going into the lobby. And a good start for Naipo as he sets up what could be the opening goal. It is. It's a pretty straight shot. But it's not one that Zane has an answer to. That particular shot. He's probably expecting the shot to be just a touch later based on the way that he positioned. Now Zane on the counter attack. And an easily slotted one at that. Naupo just underneath him, looking up at the ball in the air, hopelessly, as Zen flip resets the open net. Played against both Moxie and Zen, the other two favorites in the group. Moxie and Zen have to play against each other tomorrow. So if, if Zen win, or rather, if Naupo wins this, he really is putting himself as a favorite to the group. And oh, Naupo actually bumped Zen off the kickoff. It looked like it was going to be his. Zen's back. What is going on? That was... An exchange you so rarely see. It looked like Zen's ball. Naipo knocked him off of it. Zen recovered anyway. And now Naipo scores from that same near post. He is just thriving from this area with his shooting right now for him when he retreats. Zen with the dribble. Air dribble bump attempt. It lands, but he saved his own shot. Oh, it's bounced middle. <laughs> Zen would have been so unfortunate if that bounced into the corner. Because he hit the bar with his car. After That's open, though. Can he do it? No, he can't. Zen has missed another wave dash after missing an open net. He overhit the setup, but what on earth is that flick by Moxie? No, Moxie, sorry, no, but you can understand why I would think it was Moxie that did that, because what on earth just happened? He just hit the back part, and now Zen is somehow doubling this. <laughs> what is going on? We've got a minute and 35 to go. Zen charges in, and surely now he's going to take the lead. It's wide open. Who has the advantage as the final minute approaches? Zen trying to take it off away from him though, and he has resilience from... He hits it into the corner. Zen's missed the boost deal, he misses the ball! And to be fair, Naipo did not expect either of those things to happen, so he wasn't prepared for it. What is going on? Somehow Zen has got another full range air dribble. Trying to go into the air, that one is. Naipo with a takeoff. Big battle right now happening with the mid-air 50-50. Zen has fallen over, but the recovery is still good. Triple save for Zen to keep himself in the lead by two. Naupo backs off for boost. Zen's mind gaming him. And the close range flick is just too accurate. Naupo calls GG's. Zen takes it in five. He silenced him. He's uh, perfect in the group after day one.